Well, I found Neil Fraser. I've taken him, in, taken him away from his dinner. Fraser, last year it was a 1973 Davis Cup team that were honoured. Yep. Uh, what a nice gesture to see the Fed Cup team honoured this year. Very tremendous. Uh, I was unaware that they'd won in 74. I should have remembered that, but uh, it's fantastic. And I would like to see more Australian successes uh, recognised in the future, whether it's Davis Cup or Fed Cup or uh, Junior Davis Cup or Junior Fed Cup or that. It, it, it's a great thing to keep you know, the, the public uh, aware of our tradition in tennis. Well, you do an, an amazing job with the Australian Davis Cup Foundation at that. But what I do want to ask you is at Wimbledon, um, you've been to, what, 50 in a row or something like that? Did, you haven't uh, missed one? I've been to uh, something like 55. I've missed a few. Yeah. I went in 1954. It's 60, 60 years since I first went. I've missed about five. Well, you've seen some amazing matches. What about Nick Kyrgios' match against Nadal this year? Well, I love to talk about it, but I would like to talk about the Gasco match as well. Yeah. That was even a better performance to come from the stage where he was. Two sets to love down, a break of serve down, and love 40 on serve, and to win a match at Wimbledon like that is, uh, is equally, and people are unaware of that situation before he went out and uh, beat the number one player in the world. That's just mind boggling. and. I'd love to think we're going to see something like that again. Well, he's put him up, uh, himself up for a chance of winning the Newcomb medal tonight. Thanks for joining us, Fraze. You're welcome.